Yeah, well, I'm the president of a company called the Render Tribe. We're a uh, online marketing firm, and uh, we're a boutique firm. And uh, so, uh, actually, as it relates to check, the people are really important uh, for us to run. That's our main asset. Are the people that work for us? So. It was a uh, it was a total mess. Uh, a typical entrepreneur, you know, I was I read a little this here or there how to do it, and I was I've been doing this for a while and interviewing for a while. And it was just a total mess, and um, and then um, uh, you know I started using Checked, and it really cleaned up the process. It optimized it and made it a lot easier uh, and faster. It saved a ton of time. That was a huge thing for me. I was running the business. And covering for a, a hole in the business, and uh, trying to hire at the same time as like three full-time jobs, um, so it made it so much faster, and um, and also it um, it gave me a ton of information I never had before. In fact, the information that we got was uh, information you know as someone who's who's had employees for a while that you don't normally get until you've had them for a year, uh, so it. It was amazing the impact of the ability to have that information up front. Yeah, we definitely, I, I've, I've been a big proponent of checking references. I felt like it was really important to always get the perspective of someone that uh, an individual worked for before. Those are the most important references to me, but um, get a real understanding of how they are without them kind of giving the sales pitch when they show up for an interview. Um, and. Um, it, it's really funny because I've done a lot of references for people and I've got a lot of calls uh, and one particular I'll never forget uh, uh, an individual worked for me and he uh, you know and he's a great guy we loved him he did a good job uh, and I went through the uh, reference checking process and they asked me all these questions and I kind of hung up the phone and I laughed and thought yeah but you didn't ask me the right question because if you can get them to come to work then they're really good so it was kind of flaky and uh, I kind of laughed I felt bad I didn't you know I felt like I, maybe I should have said something but uh, but at the end of the day I, didn't, I you know I liked the person a lot and I want him to get a job so you know um, the two things that I like the most in there uh, from my perspective are um, the uh, executive summary and the coaching. Uh, in fact, um, we've been using it for over a year and when I first did it, it was really used just to be a decision-making tool. Uh, how do we decide who we're, who we're gonna hire and then great, and we kind of left it to be. And then, then we started hiring more and went back and looked at the individuals that we already hired, like I said before, that uh, it was so dead on. It, we started laughing. It was it kind of freaked me out. It was like so dead on. Uh, so we started using it in a different way. Um, the one way we use it differently is that um, now we're using it as a coaching tool and to understand how to manage these individuals and how we got to kind of change the environment for individuals that work better in groups versus individuals that work on their own. And uh, there's just so much data in there that you can use in this tight little package of the the coaching. There's like three paragraphs that. That that's it's invaluable. So that was one way. And then the other way, when we're hiring, we're hiring, um, we're interviewing somebody. And um, when you when you read through the executive summary, and that's pretty much uh, the most important thing in that process, from my perspective, how I used it. Uh, and we interview. Uh, it's it's a lot more meaningful. Uh, it be, it takes that sales process away, but also. Um, we get an understanding of if someone's self-aware of this, because I truly, after seeing the power of this tool, it's like dead on. If someone's self-aware of these attributes or whatever the, the competency is, um, then uh, you, you know we had a meeting about an interview the other day, and uh, we said, well, they're very aware of this, so potentially very coachable in this situation. And that's something that we could we would never know until a year later at least or maybe right. three months later if you could coach them or you know how they're gonna progress so um, that those are kind of the pretty powerful things and that, that we found from checked oh man because of our size right now it, it's it, it can be huge um, you know we, we deal with good size clients uh, usually uh, it's a 
uh, a good sized chunk of our revenue when we have a client um, and we put a team on it and when when uh, an individual um, doesn't perform or you know and, and again we're a small team so it's hard to like micromanage everyone every day um, when something happens you know I've lost pieces of business over you know individuals in the past and um, you know, it, it's stuff that uh, has a big impact. This is big impact.